Hey everyone, Matt here with Single Store, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with Claude Code. Now in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to install it on your local machine and get it working with any of your projects that you're currently working on. In this example, I'm actually going to show you how to use it with a Node.js API. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have it up and running on your local machine so you can use it with your code. Let's get started. Okay, so full disclosure, I've never actually run through this before, so we're gonna do it live on the fly, just to show you how easy it is to do. The first step is to head over to the Anthropic Docs, where you can see their Claude code overview, where you can see there's an npm install command. Come down a little bit further, and you'll see that we have a few system requirements that we need as well. First, specific types of Mac OS, Ubuntu, or Windows. We need a specific amount of hardware, so four gigabytes of RAM minimum, which many of us will likely already have. And then we need Node.js 18 plus, Git, which is optional, GitHub or GitLab, optional, and RipGrep, which is also optional. I do have these, however, for sure make sure that you have Node.js installed because you're gonna need NPM at a minimum. Coming down here a little bit further, let's actually start running these commands. So first thing we'll do is in our terminal, we're going to run this command here. I'll take this, come over to VS Code, open up my terminal, and run it here. Okay, and now that command has run, let's move to the next step, which navigate to your project directory, which we're already in, then we can run Claude to launch. A little bit bigger so that we can see everything. And here we can pick the text that we would like. So I'll put my focus here. Dark text, light text. I'm actually going to go with light text. And here we go. Now, press enter to log in to your Anthropic Console account. Even better, I don't have one yet. So I'm, so I'm gonna show you exactly how easy that is to set up. I'll do continue with Google. I'll pick my personal Gmail here. Click continue. Enter my name. Individual authorize a credit card number here a credit card entered then I'll move next to my billing information and then lastly I'm going to click on buy credits now I can close this window come back to my visual studio code log in successful press enter to continue now of course this is still in research for you so there's a few things that are going to be disclaimers here however as we know, most of this stuff that's being released is pretty much production ready, but obviously there is a few issues still here, such as prompt injection risks. I'll press enter again. I'm already in my project directory here, and I will say yes, proceed to the do you trust the files in this folder. Now let's do a quick test. Let's have it explain exactly what's going on in our app.js file. And you can see that it does it quite well. So we have some standard CRUD routes or endpoints slash expenses. We're using natural language search endpoint using GPT 4.0. And then we have AI powered SQL query generation for answering complex questions about expenses. That's exactly what we have going on. Now let's try something here. If we want to add some logic into our put endpoint, let's make it so that it first checks to see if that expense ID exists. If not, it's gonna return back an error stating that that expense does not exist. Let's try this out and see how it works. So here we can see that it's creating this variable called existing expense. It's doing an expense table.find. If the existing expense does not exist, it's returning a 404 and saying expense not found. I'll say yes. And we can see that that's then been added to this endpoint here. So with that, you can now see how easy it is to set up Claude code and begin using it within your projects. When we started this tutorial, I had none of this set up and we were able to get it up and running seamlessly in a matter of minutes and then even test it out quickly. Make sure to like this and subscribe to our channel as I will have lots more AI coding agent content coming your way very shortly. Until next time, happy coding.